Good morning everyone. Okay, so I'm coming on to share with you um, a sort of tutorial process video. I yesterday um, said that I was going to have a flip book giveaway and I made the flip book last night. So now I am making the things to go into the flip book. Um, there are going to be a lot of things in it that aren't made but I wanted to put some personal things in it as well. I'll give you a quick a quick quick peek I'm not going to go into it a lot because I want it to be a surprise obviously all the things that are going to be in it are going to be a surprise so on the front of this flip book it's an A5 envelope flip book um, I used the Grace Taylor paper now I've showed the bare bones of this flip book before um, when I started making it but I embellished it last night so I've added on I had the Do Craft Paper Mania Oriental kit that had these little tags in it this is a stamp I just stamped and coloured and I added on these beautiful embellishments that Crafty Little Amy sent me and the little corner pieces and then I've got this in um, decoupage here this here with the gems I've stamped and coloured this piece in I've stamped her um, also so there's lots of stamping and decoupage here some bling and some stamping and I've put the corners on and I've put some pieces on here and stamped on some oriental bits. So, I think there is one, yeah, three, three, three. So there's three big pockets in this that are going to be filled with goodies. So I wanted to, first of all, make some of these, which were my little cards. Now, you've seen me make these little bags. And I had, from the haul that I'd done... The two pound grab bags um, from Hobbycraft. I had these cards. It's invitations and it's eight perforated reception cards. They do it came with these little envelopes. I've not used these yet. I don't know what I'm going to use these for yet, but I'll use them for something. But I wanted to. I made the little card. If I can, I didn't want to pull my lace off and grab this one. There we go. I made this. Um, cut this little bag using the Grace Taylor paper and um, this one and then one of these napkins over the top these napkins came from the US and um, from Danny and so I made the little bag covered it in the napkin and then I added on the lace this beautiful shimmery lace and then some bling along the front and back and then you've got the little matching card. I thought that was really cute. So I made that one. I'm probably going to write on that as a thank you to the person that wins the giveaway. And then I made this one. Again, this is from the Grace Taylor um, paper. And I made the little matching card. So I think I'm going to just pop this into inside the envelope for the person that receives it. They can use it. So it just slips back in there. Um and I embellished it with some of these uh, liquid petals. I think these are the ranger ones. Yeah, these are the ranger liquid petals. And I stamped it with this kingfisher stamp. And just coloured it in with the spectrum arms. And I don't know if you can see, it's really light. I've done some stenciling in the background. So that will be going in. Then I decided, right, I'm on a bit of a roll. I want to make some envelopes. So I came up with these. Now I think these have turned out absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Um, some mixed media envelopes. So there's that one. Okay, and there is this one. So they're really cool. So this is what I'm going to show you how to make. Um, now these, you can put them, you can use them obviously as whole envelopes. They are large envelopes, lots of space in them, or you can put them, you can flip them over like so and use them in a flip book. So you'd have this one as a page and this one would open up in your flip book. So you could put this, eh, not your flip book, oh, your junk journal, sorry. When you're making a junk journal, you could have that as a page. So how did I do it? What you're going to need is some old magazine paper. Now this is like halfway between a magazine and like a, a book page. It's like the thick honky-dory pages that you get in their magazine. 
if you have a magazine that you want to use and the pages aren't particularly thick all you have to do is back it onto a sheet of copier paper to make it a bit thicker and you can use it so I don't know, I can't even remember where I got this book I've had it for a long while and you can see there's hardly any of it left I've absolutely used it so let's go I'm going to take a sheet of this now it doesn't really matter what size you're using because this technique will apply to all projects uh, all envelopes, sorry, you can apply the technique to it. This one is nine and a half by about seven and a quarter. Um, but like I said, it honestly doesn't matter. Now, when making the first envelope, all I did was fold this piece in half. Okay? But that what that means is the front piece is going to be facing the right way so that you can read it okay but the back piece is going to be upside down and that's fine you know if it's, it looks absolutely fine but it will annoy me and I like the writing to be up the right way so what I've done for the second one is fold decide which image you want to use um, now you'll see on this I don't know how well you can see it but down the edge where it's been torn out of the magazine it's kind of rough and I like that I'm not going to cut that off I'm going to leave it Um I think because they're mixed media I think they look really nice like that so what I'm going to do decide which side you want to be your envelope flap and have it to your right hand side now I'm going to use this part as it will actually no I'm not I'm going to turn it over and I want to have my rough side as the flap of my envelope. So all I'm going to do is line it up with itself and then I'm going to cut it in half. You can do this bit with a trimmer but like I said because this is a mixed media envelope I like it to be, it doesn't have to be perfect, I like it just to be that slightly bit off. I just think it adds to the charm. So then you have the two parts that are facing the correct way you can read them. So, I'm going to put this part to the top also, so that I've got my rough pieces to the top. And all I'm going to do now is I want the top piece, so I've sat them on top of each other, and I want the top piece to be shorter, about an inch I would say, because if you pull that down, you'll see that this is going to be the flap of your envelope. <coughs> Excuse me, so... Again, I'm just going to eyeball it and take about an inch off the top, like so. Now, at this point, this, you don't have to do this. I didn't do it on this envelope. As you can see, I didn't do it here. However, I did do it um, on my little bags, and I cut out the half circle, and it just makes it easier pull your card in and out and it's the same in the envelope it gives you something that you can go and hold on to so all I do is I flip my this is a one inch circle punch I flip it upside down take it to the edge and so I put it halfway like halfway in between here so in the middle and then just punch out a half circle and that gives you it's like little bits that you can grab it. Then I'm going to get my glue. And the bit that has a half circle cut out of the shorter bit, the shorter bit you're just going to add your glue. Not along the top edge that you've punched out, obviously, because that is your opening for your envelope. Just all the way around the other three sides in a U shape. And I'm taking the glue as close to the edge as possible so that it gives me the largest amount of space in the envelope possible and then I'm just going to stick that right on the top here just lining it up pick it up just sort of sugar it about to make sure you've got it in the place that you want it and give it a good squeeze okay you see I've been painting and things on my desk this morning so then all I do is on this piece that is going to be your flap, so you can see now 
I'm not going to try and open it up because it's not totally stuck yet. You can see you have your front piece and then you have your longer piece at the back that's going to be your flap for your envelope. Just take some, a little piece off, so you're just mitering in the corner basically. And that just gives you a nicer piece for your flap, I think. You don't have to, but I think it looks nicer. And then I'm going to fold the flap over, just lining it up with the piece underneath. Like that. So as you can see now, it looks like an envelope. You've got your flap and you've got your envelope. Again, I'm not going to try and open it yet because it won't be stuck completely all the way around. So now we can move on to decorating it. So, for these ones, I used the napkin, this napkin. What did I do with it? Um, I was organised. She says, I don't know, I'll grab another one. Take two seconds. Okay, so I used this one. These ones are for Tesco. And I used that on both of these ones. Okay, so I'll use a different one this time. And I'm going to use... This one. This one is from IKEA. So, on the first one, I used this Nouveau Mousse um, through a stencil. So, I think, actually, I might go with both. I might go with both um, techniques to show you because I used that and I also used some acrylic paint on. In fact, it wasn't the acrylic paint on that one, it was on. The other ones I'm going to show you, but okay. So this time, now the reason I use this paper instead of just white card or white paper is because when you put your napkin over the top, you can still see some of the imagery coming through, and I like that. I think it gives it a nice mixed media effect. So we'll put this to the side, and this is a little tip. I can't remember who it was that told me, but you just put a piece of tape on. I think this one's three ply. We'll see. Stick another piece of tape on. Yep, it is three ply, so we'll just take the top piece off as well. So this is just another way to use these napkins up as well because I know a lot of people contacted me saying, you know, we didn't know what I was going to do with the napkins that I got in my challenge and the ones that I've been buying as well. So this is how I, there's lots of ways actually I use them, but this is just another way. Oh, that's torn a wee bit. Okay. So then decide which part, I mean this napkin isn't one of these ones that comes in four. It's, um... It's actually a whole image. So just decide which part you want to use. And I'm going to go for this part here. So actually I'm not even going to cut it. I'm just going to tear it. Right along the piece that I want to use. Okay. Now, take the envelope that we've just made. And I'm going to pop a piece of copier paper underneath and I'm using a, a prep stick or just a glue stick and then just apply your glue all the way over I love doing these I love making them it gets a chance to get messy and I feel like I'm actually really creating something if that makes sense They've been so much fun to make. I've been absolutely addicted to making wee bags and envelopes now for about two and a half, three weeks. So that is covered in glue. And then I'm just going to lie this over. Now, I'm not going to lie it over where my cutout half circle is. And that's fine because you will still see some of the imagery, which is absolutely fine. So just lie it down. And take your time 
if you want wrinkles in it that's absolutely fine as well it just adds texture but for this particular one I want it to go really flat so that you can still see the imagery underneath like so so I'm just giving it a good press and then I'm going to turn it over and these pieces here now I don't want it on the end but I want the pieces on the top and the bottom to be stuck on the back so what I'm going to do is just trim this off along the edge and add some glue to the, the bottom and the top okay I always work with a prit stick or a glue stick when I'm working with napkins unless I'm sealing them then I'll do it with Mod Podge but I, f I just think it's I like it it's an easy grab um, and it allows them to stay transparent as well okay so that is on there and then pop this piece over the bottom I think that looks absolutely cool look at this look at that tiny bit trim there because that annoy me okay so that is the back an extra wee bit of glue to take that off that is the back. So you can see now what I mean, they're writing still the right way up. You can still see your imagery the right way up. And turn it over. And here is the envelope. So you can still see, just the napkin gives it a fantastic texture. And then you can still see um, the imagery coming through and then a bit of the imagery here. So, to decorate it, take it that one step. You can leave it like this or you can take it that one step or a couple of steps further. So what I'm going to do is I've got this stencil here. I actually bought this a while back from AliExpress. Um, I didn't read the like the small print or anything like that and I thought it was a die, but it wasn't, it was a stencil, but I'm actually really glad that it did now. So I'm going to put this down over here and I'm going to use some of this Nouveau Mousse. Now, this Nouveau Mousse, it just happens this is the one that I've got, the colour that I've got it in. I can't remember what colour it is. Specific, Pacific Teal, that's what it is. This is from the lovely Deja shop. Um, Deja sent me this. She has them for the cheapest that I have seen them on the market and they are absolutely fantastic. And I know she has other colours. So pop over to lovely Deja craftingsupplies.co.uk and check out Deja shop if you want some of these Nouveau. She also does the Nouveau drops as well and other tonic, lots of other tonic things. Um, as well as all her other products. So I'm going to use some of this. Now, I use it, I don't have a spatula, but this is just as good as. It's a Do Crafts Paper Mania, and this came in a set of two. Um, it's the bone folder, it came with the large one, which is the one that I use, and then this smaller one that I don't use, but I've, so that I've pulled it out for this. So I'm just going to take some of this Nouveau Mousse, and you get absolutely tons and tons in here, and you don't have to use a lot. And I'm going to pick a piece of my stencil and just... Now, I'm putting it on quite thick. You don't have to. If you want it to go on like a paint, you can. If you want it to go on to give you some texture, you put it on a bit thicker. And again, I say thicker, but you're hardly using any. And I'm just dragging this down and leaving it quite thick. I'm not pressing it right in. So it is going through the stencil and it's making the stencil look designed perfectly. So that is on there. And then... Yeah, what I'm going to do then, you know me guys, I'm crafting on the hoof, I always decide as I'm going along what I like. Then what I'm going to do is use some of this liquid perils. Now this is the Rangers one, um, I know you get the Dovecraft, yeah it just says liquid perils. And I'm going to squirt some down here like that. Take my spatula again and just go through my stencil. That looks really cool. I'll just put a wee bit up here as well. Oh, 
Okay. So, we just lift this up. Wow, look at that. I'll pop this there a second and just give this a off. Now, I used to wash my stencils straight away and but now I've just discovered you know you don't have to it doesn't transfer I give them a quick wipe I've got a little bit of water in here that I've been painting with just give it a quick wipe over like so and it doesn't damage them at all so that'll be fine now for using the next time I'll just give this a quick dry so now what we have is this um, envelope, I'll see if it's dry enough to open it yet, yeah it is, you see we've got, I don't know if you can see in there, lots and lots of space, so now we have this envelope um, with the stenciling on it, you can see it's got the texture mousse, it's absolutely cool and when that texture mousse dries, it dries raised and it really is, it's, it's totally textured, it does what it says on the tin. So that's that one. Now, I think I'm going to leave that one like that because I think that's absolutely cool. It's turned out really fab. What I've done is, if I can find it, I prepared some um, pages earlier. And this one, all I've done was paint it using this paint set. And it was, this is from Hobbycraft. I got this actually reduced, it was £4, I think it was last year or the beginning of this year, I got it for £4. So I used um, the red one, these are the pearlescent paints, Oops. and you can see, I don't know if it's shown up on camera, but it was really shiny, yep, so it's gave it a pearlescent look. And then at the top here, I used the pearls again, and I just spread them out over the page. And then this one, um, I used a stencil, but what i done on the background, I painted it, I used the other paints, um, these are the opaque ones, again from Hobbycraft, um, I painted on the back with the brown and the sort of dark greeny colour, and then I popped the stencil down, and I used this acrylic, Liquitex acrylic colour, and it's dried really, really textured. Um, it's also, it's, it almost feels like plastic, it is really cool. So let's go ahead and make another little bag um, and a quick little envelope. So because I want to show you, you can absolutely pre-prepare your papers and it is super, super easy. Quickly fold. Okay. So this means that you can prepare these in advance and just have them ready for when you need them. So what I'm going to do is lots of, um, what do you call it, lots of papers. I'm going to paint them. I actually want to buy, I used to have the Cosmic Shimmer spray mist, like the spray, I can't remember what you call it, um, I can't remember, it's just a cosmic spray, it's got the mica in it, and I used to have that, and that would be really cool for mixed media, so I think I'm going to invest in some of these spritzer sprays, um, I don't know what other companies do them, I think Tim Holtz does some actually, because I think for decorating these it would be absolutely cool. When I done my um, horror junk journal, I used some acrylic paint and some water and just put it into a spray bottle and that made a fantastic spray, so you can also do that as well. That turns out really cool. So there you go, quickly. This shows you how easily and quickly you can make one of these envelopes and that's why I just wanted to show you it again. 
So there you have another one, and this one is already pre-prepared, so I don't have to do anything else to it. Of course, you can add lace onto it. Um, these ones are really grungy, but you can make them really pretty. You could use pretty papers, you could um, put lace on them, buttons on them, anything that you like to make to make them. Now, this one I wanted to show like this because it doesn't have the napkins on it. It's just the paper that's been stenciled and things. And then, quickly, I will show you how I made my little card and envelopes. So, I need one of the little cards that came. And all I'm going to do is, in fact, what I'm going to do first is cut this in half. I'm trying to do this quickly, guys. I'm going to show you how really easy this is but it's so much fun and I'm going to make sure that's up the right way pop this in the middle and this time I want it level the card I want it to be level with the top of the paper when I made my little bag for gainers IC card I didn't make it level as I wanted it to pull out easier but as we're going to do the half circle on this one it doesn't matter. So I've just folded that one over like so and I'm actually going to cut it in half and the reason I'm cutting it in half isn't because the writing or anything's the wrong way around it's just because I simply I like the effect of them being stuck together rather than just folded over. So I'm going to make sure that this is the right height by just popping that down there lining that up so now I can see how much space I have for gluing and able to make the card so that it comes out smoothly and just take that out pop this on the top I love this effect with the shimmer paint it's turned out really cool like that okay so you can see these are so quick and easy to make but the effect I think is just so cool and then on the top piece again I'm just going to cut out half circle like so and you know I think I may use mm, I was going to put a little bit of napkin down, but I don't know where to see. I don't know whether it just looks fine the way it is, or whether we can... Do you know what I'm going to, what I'll do is, I'll just use the same stencil again. I'll put this down here. And this time, I'll show you. So you take your acrylic paint, and just pop some on. You don't need a lot. I'm actually going to, I've got other acrylic paints in other colours, because I was working with this sort of botanical theme, I stuck to the green. So you're just scraping it through, and again, I'm not like overly scraping it, because I want it to remain quite raised on the page. So I'm putting quite a lot on this piece, covering quite a lot of the front, but that's alright, because we've got the back piece as well. And look at that, isn't that amazing? Absolutely amazing. I'll pop that there just now so that it can be cleaned. I love that. So obviously you can do it with any stencil. You can make your own stencil. You can do it with um, shop bought stencils. So that's my little bag. I love how that turned. Look, I don't know if you can see the dimension. So we'll leave that to dry. And then I'll quickly move on to this little card. And I want it to match. So what I'm going to do is tear down this side. Like that. I've got paint all over my hands now. Put that there like that. And I'm just going to put some glue on, stick it onto the card. So hopefully this is showing you guys how easy. Now I've been asked before what is mixed media. Now mixed media basically means using different types of um, mediums. 
if I were to make this card like this and I was to use another piece of card and um, say put a piece of decoupage on or a topper and it was another piece of card it's not mixed media however this card I have now used a card the magazine piece I've used paint I've used perils um, so it is now mixed media it's Honestly, people think mixed media has to be tons of different mediums. It doesn't. It is one or more medium. So, as you two or more, sorry. So, if you use, um, say for instance, you use card and you put some lace on it, it's a mixed media piece. If you use a stamp and you colour it in with paint, if you colour it in with pens, it's a mixed media piece. It's honestly as simple as that. You can obviously take it all out and lose lots of mediums, like lots of people do. And um, there's a lot of talented people on here that make canvases and all sorts of things. But basically it makes media is using two or more mediums. That's what it means. So we've now got this wee piece and I'm just to match this in, I'm just going to pop that back down there. Now I'll need a wee small amount of paint for this, but I'm just going to put a little bit onto my spatula. And I'm going to go down this bit here like that and just take this off that is cool that is so cool love how it's turned out so I'd maybe if this wasn't going into my little envelope I would maybe put some lace or some you know some hessian or something down the side of it but now you've made a quick and simple mixed media little envelope pocket and card to send in with your um, friend mail or parcel, whatever it is you're sent in, you've got a really quick little card and envelope that you can send now that is handmade. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this little mixed media session, guys. I've absolutely loved making all these things. I love making these envelopes. I think they're just, I love how they turn out. As I said, you can use them in your... Um, junk journals here is another one with a texture paste from last night yep you can use them in your junk journals by simply folding them in half that would go into my junk journal like that this would be the spine I would have this page open it up and then you would have this part put in some maybe some tags or something a little journaling card so that is how um, it's given you another example of how I use my napkins and how I use old magazine pieces to make some envelopes. So, if you like this video guys, please do give it a little thumbs up. Um, I will be putting this video um, up under the category of Jan's Crazy Life collab. We're now on the 29th of May. Um, I made this and I made the envelope flip book for my giveaway. So yeah, everybody that is in Jan's collab will be linked in the description box down below. Sorry, I should have said that at the beginning. I totally forgot. Please give this video a big thumbs up, guys. Um, and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll be back again soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.